Golden State Media Concepts Social Media Podcast. Time to hashtag everything. We talk about all the fun, crazy stories on social media. From Instagram to Facebook, Twitter to Tumblr, or probably even Friendster. Join us each week as we explore the quirky side of social media. It's the Golden State Media Concepts Social Media Podcast. It's simple. It's simple. Such a sad song. The one that... Welcome to the GSMC Social Media News Podcast, brought to you by GSMC Podcast Network. I'm your host, Stacey. And I'm your co-host, Sarah. And for those of you who may not know, uh, we also do the movie podcast here on GSMC Podcast Network. And in a recent episode, we talked, of course, about Incredibles 2, which I won't say was worth a 14-year wait, but was not. <laughs> <laughs> but you liked it very much. I liked it very much. I really did. Just could you, Did you have to take 14? Okay. Well, yeah, apparently. But anyway, so Incredibles 2, I clearly was not the only person who was like, 14 years is way too long, what are you doing, let's go, because Incredibles 2 has completely broken the box office record for opening weekend for an animated film. Like, just way completely broken it. Cool. And actually, like, beyond even just animated, it's kind of like, and I was too young to remember this, but when Beauty and the Beast came out and how it was up, I think, for best film, mm -hmm. because they didn't have best animated feature at the time, but it was considered that good that it's like, even though this is a cartoon and it's for a kid's movie, we're going to place it with all these other films. Incredibles 2, in that same way, can compete even beyond animated with uh, just regular superhero movies, because someone put together a know, chart. I'm going to go with chart. Okay. <laughs> Well, it's, it's got bars and colors and compare. Yeah. Like a bar graph? Sure. <laughs> okay. They, they put together a, some, something, a, thing, a comparison, bars and a comparative colors, tool. Where they were comparing the uh, take or whatever for the different superhero movies. Mm -hmm. And that Incredibles 2 evidently had the best opening weekend for a non-Marvel superhero movie. Which there are some. I just struggled to think of any at the time. <laughs> DC. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's right. They exist, huh? <laughs> yes. If, yes you, they if do. you heard our uh, Wonder Woman episode, you would know I was not a big fan, even though for some odd reason everybody else was. And I have not heard anything near good enough about either Batman v Superman or the Justice League movie to want to rectify that. So uh, DC, what? DC <laughs> I don't what? know what you're talking about. But they show up. It's really amazing. They show up even in the Marvels. They show up sort of in the middle of the how much it's you know, how much money they've earned. And they're only just, you know, in a couple of weeks now. Right. And they broke the record for previous, whatever the record holder was, not even on world take, just solely on the U.S. and Canada. Nice. Like you earned that much money just off these two countries to break the record, never mind the rest of the world. Because Incredibles 2 and Pixar <laughs> and Jack-Jack. People were like, dang it, it's about time. Also that, yeah. And I mean, Incredibles, the first one was just possibly the best Pixar film. But I'm also still confused on how Wreck-It Ralph is a Disney film, but Brave is a Pixar film. But that is a totally different thing, and I won't go into that. So. but It's a thing for Stacey. She's, it, it's, she doesn't like it. It it messes with her head. It, and, and if you wanted to give Disney an Oscar, it should have been Wreck-It Ralph and not uh, freaking Frozen. But total, not the movie podcast. Not the movie podcast. But on more. Freaking Frozen, huh? <laughs> Yeah, alliteration. <laughs> alliteration. Love alliteration. <laughs> but continuing with the movie news, we also did an episode, or I did. I'm not sure if you were there with me. For Solo? For Solo. Yeah, we did that together. Yes. <sighs> solo. Poor Solo. Just, this is, <laughs> you used to think, you know, Phantom Menace was the worst Star Wars film, um, if you actually acknowledge that Phantom Menace even exists. Which you think Star Solo is worse don't. than Phantom Menace? I don't think it's worse, but I think it's got a worse, uh, reputation oh, whew, in wow. that now Lucasfilm has decided they're putting all the Star Wars spinoffs on hold. 
Oh. People were going to blame that on Solo in it the same so way. Bad. <laughs> in the same way they said that, you know, Phantom Menace was terrible because of the kid who played young Anakin. It's like we're all going to point at that one thing for ruining everything. It's all Solo's fault. There were so many other things wrong with Phantom Menace, but we're not, you know, again, not the movie <laughs> podcast. Oh, now I'm thinking of that thing that I, w- I won't spoil that was in both Phantom Menace and Solo. <laughs> It's that fault. It's that thing's fault. That's the you should never have that in a movie. I'm I won't spoil it, but it's all that thing's fault. That's, that's why hilarious. that's what that's what ties them together. Is that that one thing. But no. So Solo did not perform anywhere near how the studio wanted it to. Mm-hmm. And so they decided, okay, this isn't necessarily working. So we're just gonna focus on the main Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars. <laughs> right. That's a plural of Star Wars, of course. Um, but a lot of people there this has a lot of mixed reactions. Some people are like, Oh my gosh, yes, because Solo was so terrible. Other people are like, But Obi Wan, but but you were gonna do Obi and Obi Wan had not even been like officially acknowledged as yes, that's what we're doing. Right. It was just in the talks about and now people are really upset because they a lot of people wanted Obi Wan more so than Solo. Mm-hmm. But a lot of people are also talking about that, you know, it's not that Solo was a bad film and a lot of people also didn't like The Last Jedi, but part of it was the timing, which you talked about. I don't know if you talked about on air. Mm-hmm. I think uh, now I don't remember, but yeah. Yeah. In that it was the first Star Wars film in a while that was released in the summer mm-hmm. and not at Christmas time. Right. And that also it seems to just be really bad planning on Disney's part because you were putting it in the summer and it was going up against, you know, Marvel. Avengers Infinity War <laughs> yeah. and Deadpool 2. And it's like, okay, but you also own Marvel. So what was your thinking there? Like, why are you going to put two of your own things against? Right, yeah, right. Who's in charge of like timing at Disney? Because that was uh, questionable. But yeah, so I'm not. Are you upset about this? I don't think so. I mean, uh, would I want an Obi-Wan movie? Uh, if it had Ewan McGregor in it, sure. Um, but am I devastated that there might not be? I mean, and, the, you know, they hadn't even confirmed it. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. Going backwards, it, it makes it hard because for someone like me who grew up with the Star Wars right. movies and you love the original characters so much that... Um, backtracking and you know having totally different characters Mm -hmm. it's hard for me especially someone who to me doesn't evoke um harrison ford whatsoever (laughs) no you really didn't like it's really hard for me to be like no that's not han solo but so i'm not devastated um i do love star wars so i uh i would you know i don't mind watching star wars movies Mm -hmm. but i also don't need subpar star wars movies right that just make me go oh yeah so focus, yeah. If they focus more on on the the trilogies or you know whatever they're working on, well, I mean, I wasn't even focusing on the Obi Wan thing because that hadn't been confirmed. So I was like, oh, that's just a fan rumor, and I, I wasn't even expecting one. Right. I only kind of want an Obi Wan film just to explain why in the original trilogy he says Yoda was his teacher, but then we get to the first <laughs> one and we have Qui Gon Jinn, and what is that? Because you're not even uh, continuity or what? Anyways, <laughs> but more so even the uh, I, so a, a coworker told me that supposedly they've already planned out two more trilogies in the main Star Wars, so they've already planned out like to episode 15 and i'm just like oh me. i don't know that you because last jedi had a number of problems and people weren't really fond of that to the point where there's even <laughs> there's and i don't think they're serious but someone put on twitter that like the studio was willing to pay for you to remake last jedi so fans tell us what you'd like us to do and we'll redo that and i was like oh yeah i don't think that's gonna happen. i don't that's think a, that, that's funny i don't think that's real but to the fact that people didn't like it enough to have that it's just like mm, 15 and- you really think you're gonna get there and one of the things I've I've heard, one of the complaints I've heard is that um, the first of the new trilogies was too much like A New Hope, and then Last Jedi was too much like uh, Empire. So I'm wondering if the third one will be too much like <laughs> Return of the Jedi. And then if they have more trilogies, will they just you know kind of be all recycling over, again? again. <laughs> ABC, ABC, ABC. <laughs> just just keep just keep pumping them out. Well, I mean, the problem I actually have with Last Jedi is beyond Empire, it actually made me think of A New Hope just because they kept saying hope oh, so much. It was right. like Leia's hope, but your last Leia. It's like, got it. New Hope. There was a film called New Hope that started it all. Nobody ever calls it A New Hope, though. No, yeah, just, oh. Just, yeah. I'm not upset, but 
I'm, I'm not even looking forward to the next Star Wars. So I'm a little, I'm a little off the, the line of this thought process. Right. Period. Yeah. I, 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 you know, it hasn't been ruined for me or anything, but it could definitely get there if they keep, oh, yeah. if they oh, keep yeah. going and like, it's like, okay, now it's too much. End. I mean, Just have an ending and be done. Right. All things come to an end. That's life. And, uh, you know, maybe it should have come to an end before Jar Jar entered the world, but that's a wholly yeah, different it subject. It should have come to an end at six, but we won't go there. <laughs> uh, so we're going to take a break and we'll be back. Stay tuned. Want to find out what movies to go see? Then check out the GSMC Movie Podcast. It's your ticket to the latest movies, whether it's a new blockbuster event, romantic, comedy, or action flick. This show has got it all covered. They talk some what to go see now. Don't bother. What's hot on Netflix and everything in between? That's gsmcpodcast.com backslash movie dash podcast. When it's all about the movies, it has to be this new show. Don't forget to like them on Facebook and follow them on Twitter. Visit gsmcpodcast.com for more info. Welcome back to the GSMC Social Media News Podcast. Um, so, I'm not married. Sarah, you are married. Correct. When you and your husband got married, did you do anything special, like a ceremony or uh, any sort of tradition? Um, like, I mean, beyond just a regular wedding did you, like, ceremony. Did you, like, have the whole borrowed in blue and penny in your shoe or oh, pants on the car or... i didn't have um a penny in my shoe and nobody decorated our car but Aww. i did have i did have the borrowed in blue because i had my mom's garter from her wedding which had a blue ribbon on it so it was old wow. and borrowed and blue yes, so all in one it, it worked out well <laughs> i only need my it, wedding dress and this one thing exactly good. <laughs> exactly and so yeah we did that um anything else specifically traditional no not particularly i mean i i kind of i didn't avoid traditions but i right. didn't like embrace some because some of the some of the wedding traditions are really archaic and if you yes. know what they're actually based oh, on yes. i was like yeah, yeah not gonna happen like you know i refused to let my dad give me away right. he, didn't, he didn't want to in the first place <laughs> but you know like I, there wasn't the who gives this woman yeah. part so no um i avoided some things but yeah, I've thought about that. I'm not married, but I have thought about if I ever did get married, I would probably not. I would also not do a lot of the traditions since I know what they're about and where they originated from. And I'm just like, you right. know. And nope, the wedding nope. march, if you actually know the tradition behind the wedding march, don't do the wedding march at, oh. your, at your wedding. It's all about like beheading and weird things. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's not a good song. But I I do find this next story very interesting. And I... if. This would not be me, but this woman clearly loves this man to do this in that a couple in India, when they got married, rather than a car with cans, was driven back to their home by a bulldozer. <laughs> okay. Why, first of all? Uh, I mean, hopefully there's a there compelling be. reason for it. So the husband evidently works in construction. Okay. And really loves his job. So yeah he says uh, i love my job and it's my way of showing gratitude towards the vehicle during one of my biggest moments in life Sh sure okay. i mean i guess I, I mean if you're construction i'm sure you really do feel gratitude towards your equipment that helps do the job and or keeps you safe or whatever but for your <laughs> wedding um i mean the pictures are fantastic for it they're sitting in the bulldozer and it's lifted off the ground so their feet aren't touching and it moves forward oh so they actually went in like the in the, in the, the scoop yeah yeah oh, so, so someone hope, else is driving it so i i just hope that they cleaned that because i'm just thinking i don't know what kind of a dress she wore but that those things can be filthy right <laughs> i'm just picturing yeah. the big smear on the back of their their wedding outfits well and she's clearly you know, sort of along for the ride because the pictures that she's laughing with him, they're smiling. I can imagine that this probably wasn't going very fast because I don't think those things can go very mm, fast. I don't think so. So this would have been like a slow procession through the streets to your home as newlyweds. 
But I'm just like, mm, if my husband, yeah, I don't know. I like I wouldn't. W- I don't want to do a lot of traditions, and I refuse to be a bridezilla. But on that one, I might be like, yeah, no. We're t-. But it's so funny because you see, depending on the picture, there's a one picture of it taken where it looks sort of old fashioned. Mm-hmm. So it almost looks like from the 70s. And I'm like, you know what? I could have believed that in the 70s. <laughs> you know, because if if your economy wasn't as great, you can't necessarily afford a car. Oh, how do we get driven home? Bulldozer. It's, like- actually, it's actually a backhoe. Oh. Oh. The, <laughs> Wait, what's the people. difference? <laughs> a bulldozer actually has, it doesn't have the scoop, it has the push thingy on the front, so when you're bulldozing, you're like shoving dirt. A uh, backhoe has a front scoop that, that and, a, and a wider, it has scoops on both ends. Um, wow, I, I didn't know that. <laughs> construction people, I'm sorry, I know that was a really terribly non-technical explanation, but yeah. Um, Everything looks is a bulldozer to me, unless it's a crane. So <laughs> those are the <laughs> only two things I know. So they were in the in the larger scoop. Um, yes. Then and she the, the picture I'm looking at now she's kind of giggling like yeah. this is so silly but this like, is ridiculous but this is the man I married and I love him so well you know often weddings um, can be more about the woman and you yes. know men are like yeah whatever you want so I like that that he had a specific want in mind and she yes. went with it I mean I think that's. I think that's nice. And I mean, I don't even know if in India they have the tradition with the cars and cans, because I know that Indian weddings can be very different to the point that a lot of times, even in parts of India, they don't wear white. Right. Because white is actually the color of mourning right. in India. So they tend to wear red, which if you wore red at a wedding in America, be like, Scarlet Woman. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Prostitute. So, yeah. Yeah. So there's very, I don't know what the thing is. I think it's very you know nice that he wants to celebrate it i think it's more nice that she was like yes i'm not i don't care enough about this wedding that it has to be my way to be like sure we'll ride home in the non-bulldozer they are not the only couple that has done this wow (laughs) i am now seeing pictures yeah well now i'm wondering like if if i ever got married and my future husband wanted to ride in a strange thing what would i be like okay sure and what would i be like no right. where do you draw the line right. i mean like um my husband and i are both major sci-fi fans but we were both oh. like yeah we're not doing a klingon wedding we're not oh, no, doing yeah. like a theme wedding <laughs> no we yeah did. no i had a, a neighbor once uh who her husband was a really big raiders fan the Oakland Raiders football team. So their wedding was silver and black. Oh, wow. And I'm like, no, no. no. Yeah, no. I, I love you, but no, no. And like their, their, like their whole house uh, was also in Raiders colors. I was like, that? Okay, fine. But the wedding, we're going to have these pictures <laughs> for the rest of our... No, right. sweetie. Interesting. No, no, no. I will put my bride foot down for that one. <laughs> Right. Interesting. But I think the non-bulldozer is less embarrassing for me at least than this next story which is that a man tweeted about how his father wanted to get a table at a really fancy and or popular restaurant but was told oh it's completely booked so then he called back and pretended to be the prime minister of morocco and got a table does morocco have a prime minister it does because i somebody would call and say that i'm the prime minister of morocco and i'd have to take a moment wait a minute does Does morocco have (laughs) President, what do you have there? Morocco. Morocco does have a prime minister. Okay. Um, and supposedly, I don't even know if whoever took this reservation bothered to even think if Morocco had a prime minister. They didn't bother to look it up mm-hmm. because the man who showed up obviously was not the prime minister of Morocco. Right. But he was able to get this table and the chef came out and met him and he oh, was asked to sign geez. a plate. <laughs> oh, no. And, and did he sign it with his real name? I'm not sure. And did he know that his son did this? Okay. So I think he knew his son did because there were pictures when they were at the thing and also the picture of him shaking the chef's hand holding the plate. Um, so I'm pretty sure he knew that his son was taking pictures. Don't know whether he knew it was posted, but I'm just like, that is a super bold and also be, nope, I, I wouldn't go with you to that restaurant. You're going to pretend to be the prime right. minister <laughs> anywhere, <laughs> unless you're the actual prime minister. I'm not going to the restaurant with you. We're going to get caught. We're going to get arrested. We're going to something. They didn't get found out while they were there. Lucky them. But I was just be like, nope, 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 not, not, nope, not happening. Yep. Well, and, um. I, if he did sign the prime minister's name, it's it's not Forgery? you know like John Smith. It's it's got multiple syllables. Right. I wouldn't necessarily know how to spell it, so hopefully he knew yeah. what he was doing if he did sign the. But I just, I kind of wonder at how this even happened because shouldn't someone like fact check? Oh, you're the prime minister in Morocco. Like 
you would think people have probably done this as a thing before trying to get in pretending to be someone else. So you fact check who that person actually is and then, you know, see if the person who shows up is actually that person. Right. To which people, people have posted the pictures of the actual prime minister of Morocco yes. and this gentleman. And they're like, eh, close yeah, enough. No, yeah. I mean, if, <laughs> like, you, if you just glance. <laughs> right. If you, if you, if you only have the picture and he shows up and it's like, oh, maybe it's just an off day and he's, he's not wearing any fancy clothes. So <laughs> like, maybe that changes. He's not been airbrushed. <laughs> right. So that's, yeah, that, that, I'd buy that that's him. And I'm just like, yeah, that's just, that's way bolder than I could ever be. I just, no, I'm sorry. I just, I couldn't do it. And I'm amazed at, like, is it really that serious? Oh, I want a table at this restaurant. So let me lie about being a foreign dignitary. Because right, I'm sure that's right. all sorts of Because did we say problems. this was in New York? So people, I mean, it wasn't in Morocco. It was no. so where people yeah. might recognize the prime minister. Yeah, um, but just, like, I know foreign dignitaries have, like, diplomatic immunity. But does that also mean, is it one of those things where you're not allowed to, you know, pretend to be them or... Right. Well, what I'm reading says that it is um, technically a crime because yes. if this, assuming this took place in New York, what he did is, it did is illegal. Right. <laughs> um, a, a person is guilty of criminal impersonation in the second degree when one, he impersonates another and does not act in such assumed character with intent to obtain a benefit or to injure, injure or defraud another. So, I mean, he... He did obtain a benefit, he did. a table. <laughs> it's not a huge benefit, but I kind of now wonder what would be that crime in the first degree if that's in the second degree. <laughs> right. Like, how do you more so pretend to be someone else than that? I what? Yeah, mm -hmm. just ah, uh, yeah. I mean, bravo, non prime minister of Morocco, and or good luck with your law case. I'm not sure, and, and I don't even know if the real prime minister of Morocco knows about this story or not because I would love to see his reaction. Right, I'm like that guy looks nothing like me. <laughs> And again, does it does it make it more of a crime or whatever you would call it if he did sign the the prime minister's name? Because then it's you know, forgery, also, right. right? I would think so. Yeah, I don't know. Just this might this might not be worth that table, man. That, that is all we're <laughs> this saying. Better, that this better have be... been the best meal you have ever right? had in your life. This better have been like you know one of the top ten restaurants in the world for you to be like I'm going to lie and be a foreign person to do that. So, so we're going to take another short break. Stay tuned. Tired of searching the vast jungle of podcasts? Now listen close and hear this out. There's a podcast network that covers just about everything that you've been searching. Hey! The Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network is here. Nothing less than a podcast bliss with endless hours of podcast coverage. From news, sports, music, fashion, cooking, entertainment, fantasy, football, and so much more. So stop lurking around and go straight out to the Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network. Guaranteed to fill that podcast itch. Whatever it may be, visit us at www.gsmcpodcast.com. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter and download us on iTunes, SoundCloud, and Google Play. Welcome back to the GSMC Social Media News Podcast. Hey, Stacey, I have a quick question before we go to our next topic. Mm -hmm. If you were going to get a restaurant reservation somewhere, who would you impersonate? Uh, I don't... Wow. See, again, I would never... Because I could never... Do I couldn't it. pull it off. I, I'd have to have a way, way more of a plan than just yeah. call up and be like, "Hi, I'm blah blah blah." I am not. I'm not a good liar at all. So uh, yeah. I would quickly, very quickly. I and I wouldn't. I can't think of any restaurant that I I want to go to bad enough to do that. Right. I I would. I, there would be giggling on my part. I'd be like, "Hi, I'm." <laughs> Never mind, I gotta go. Right. <laughs> They'd be like, what was that? Who was that lady? <laughs> she said she was the prime minister of Morocco, but isn't that a man? Mm. Yeah. But speaking of people pretending to be other people, currently the World Cup is on. Yes. And I only know that because people keep talking about it because I don't care about sports. So. Right. <laughs> I only 
barely remembered that it was happening in Russia. I have no idea. Is it still going? Is it Mexico over? won today? I keep seeing on Facebook. I have no idea where. I don't know if they won the whole thing right? or if they won just the game, but people are excited Bravo, about Mexico. Mexico. <laughs> but I thought that this next story was very interesting in that the South Korean team, when they were preparing to face uh, Sweden, yeah, took had a very interesting tactic to sort of protect their team training see i don't even know what i don't do sports um in that they knew sweden spies would be watching so they had their players switch jerseys i think more than a few times so that each player ended up wearing like several numbers during the practice because the (sighs) south korean manager was like europeans can't tell asians apart and I was just like, you know what? That's a normal stereotype of, oh, yeah, all Asians look alike. But that's actually true. And sort of bravo for you <laughs> to use that to your benefit. Because, mm. Mm. but I mean, but so, it yeah. just makes me sad in a lot of ways. Well, no, so I like it. And I, I forget what the show was, but there was um, some show on for, it was sort of aimed at young adults, um, where one of the characters in the trailer was like, um, I'm always facing double standards, so I wouldn't mind using one to my advantage. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yes, do that. And someone else commented of, yes, South Korea, use that perceptual bias to your advantage. But this is not just, uh, and I kind of already knew this, um, I think and it came up um, when the Chinese Olympics happened, the Olympics in China in 2008, Mm -hmm. in that it's not, oh, all Asians look alike. It's All people of a different race or ethnicity look alike if you're not used to seeing people of that race or ethnicity. So for a lot of Asians, all white people look alike. Right. Because. (laughs) Sure. So it's actually, it's it's got an actual official name. It's called the cross-race effect. Hmm. The tendency to recognize faces of the race you're more familiar with and have a more difficult time distinguishing between people of a race you're less familiar with. Which makes sense. I mean, if you're used to seeing a certain right. type of person and then you you meet a, a different type of person you, you know you might have more of a difficulty but yeah huh so i still i mean just i don't what would how did you know to think of that like that would not have ever crossed my mind of <laughs> oh they won't know who we are hey, you're just not sneaky stacy i think that's the issue you're not sneaky I, should I be sneaky? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> do I need to work on my sneakiness? Maybe. Do I, is there Maybe. a school for sneakies, sneaky people besides, you know, joining inter spy? Becoming a spy. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> yeah. But just, yeah, this idea. And again, from California, so grew up with a lot of diversity. I totally didn't even know about just the American stereotype of all <laughs> Asians look alike because I knew a lot of Asians growing up. Right. So I'm like, no, they don't. What I mean, I'm talking about. I knew this because it's kind of a running joke in a lot of like movies and TV shows and stuff, or, you know, all you oh, people yeah. look alike or whatever. But I never, I, I don't feel like I've ever thought that. Oh, I can't tell XYZ people apart <laughs> because there's always different. Well, I mean, I can, I, I do that with multiple people, not just Asians. There was something where I forget what it was, but it was like, several blonde girls and two of them had on the same outfit and i was like i i don't wait which one were you again (laughs) right but i just it's it takes a moment and then once i get to like know you're actually this person and that's your face okay fine right but it's not yeah just but someone in response to this posted uh the clip from rush hour rush hour two Uh rush hour two where they're fighting in the spa against all the triad people and chris tucker pu- punches johnny uh <laughs> jackie chan jackie in the face oh no and he's like i'm sorry y'all look alike and i just like so no wait, that's a thing. now it's really a thing to be honest i mean i'm not i'm not a sports team a spy for a sports team right but if i were to i, I don't know enough about sports so let's say stacy you were like i want to know what's going on with this group of people right it could be it could be like an nfl team that has white players black players all kinds of players right. and i'd be like i don't know who anybody is so they yeah. can switch jerseys and yeah. i would be like wait um i don't remember who, yeah 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 if i'm just going by names i know some people obviously but like pff, i wouldn't know who was who on a south korean team right <laughs> but I'll, that's why i'm not sent to spy on them either or like i drove my sister crazy a couple of times when i happened to be with her when she was watching a football game and i just asked random questions what do those yellow dots mean okay what did that call mean okay what's that for? she's like shut up mm-hmm. so at one point i asked what's with the covering of the mouths when they talk oh right and that's so i think 
for like lip readers yeah. can't hear. But I'm like, even if you could, wouldn't that require you know what that specific play is? If they're like, okay, run the Kentucky Derby. Kentucky Derby. I can't say it even. <laughs> oh, I can't Kentucky say Derby. It. Thank you, that one. But you know, all the plays have like names to them. It's not, you know, right. Run There's that a playbook. But if they've stolen the playbook, I guess. So it's like you have to know what that actual. In the same way, like in baseball, you know, they don't hide that. They do the signal right out in the open, but it's very complex and weird. And so you have to know what those specific calls are for that to be of any benefit. It's like if dude is saying random code name, does that help you? I guess if you I don't again I don't do sports. So in a spy and gotten their playbook, I don't know. Right. Or if you've studied them enough and you know that Kentucky Derby always means okay, we're gonna throw to that running back. Is there's, it running back? I don't know. There's so much subterfuge going on in the world of Seriously, sports. Seriously, right? Sports like that whole thing with Russia and Burger King. <sighs> is, is this really sports that serious? Like, again, I don't care about sports. I don't really watch sports. So this I is why Stacy doesn't serious. do the GSMC sports podcast. Yeah, you know, really? That would be hilarious. It would be like that guy with the thing took the ball. There was some kind of a ball. I don't know. A, a goal. And, and then there was the flag and the whatever. And the ch- yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it would be so not anything at all you'd probably be like what sport are you even talking about <laughs> do you know to which the answer is yeah, no. maybe <laughs> although we could get a different perspective because you aren't an insider and so you'd be like you know you'd have a completely different oh yeah I, on... I can complain about a number of ridiculous things in sports and i drive my family crazy because i am for some odd reason the only person in my family that does not like sports i don't yeah. know how that happened i think you were adopted or something or just or you're an alien or there's always one in every family yeah but there something. always has to be something so yeah very interesting i applaud the south korean team coach manager person for coming up with that since it is you know a sort of negative thing and be like i'm gonna turn this negative into a positive mm-hmm. um for all i know i think they still lost maybe unless it was a previous match do they face see i don't even know if they face each the same team more than once in this I don't tournament think so, but I could be wrong. Whatever. I saw that Sweden beat South Korea. I do not know whether or not that was before or after the let's switch jerseys thing. But I do applaud the manager for knowing of the stereotype and finding a way to use that stereotype to his advantage. There you go. So on that, I turned it into a positive yes <laughs> note. We're going to end for today. Thank you for listening to the GSMC Social Media News Podcast. You've been listening to the Golden State Media Concepts Social Media Podcast, part of the Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network. You can find this show and others like it at www.gsmcpodcast.com. Download our podcast on iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, and Google Play. Just type in GSMC to find all the shows from the Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network from movies to music from sports to entertainment and even weird news you can also follow us on twitter and on facebook thank you and we hope you have enjoyed today's program